He's walking to the sanctuary garden. Oh. White light? That was quick. Oh, sanctuary guardian. The sanctuary guardian guards the sanctuary garden. <laughs> yes, he does. Oh. Okay, well, that one worked out, run. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoa bang. Damage though. Oh, he missed. Oh. That was a whole lot of Among Us. Among Us thing. I didn't hear any Among Us. Poison. Too bad I don't care about poison. That was the second little reference. Yeah. That was a callback to our real life. Yeah. You can tour with real life? Poise. Poise won that yeah. one at the end. Guardian Soul. The Guardian Soul. Oh. oh. I absolutely hate that guy. You hate him? Yes. This place reminds me of the forest in Xenoblade Chronicles. This place reminds me of the Dark Root Forest. Oh, I got stabbed. Oh, he just got. Freaking... Oh. Oh. I got freaking old. That's what I call chilling the dirt. I did it again. <laughs> oh. Oh. There's just another one. Quite the quite quite the team of oh. team of uh, people. Team up against the bad ball. The bad ball is a danger to to Ula Seal. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's like he hates everything that isn't human. Yes. He hates the humans too. He's killed a, a few humans. Yeah, but not as many as everything else. Yeah. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. This is the Christmas themed episode, guys. Mm hmm. This is coming out on Christmas. Just wait till they pull out. Ah, uh, the crotch dodge again. Crotch dodging? That sounds like a. Like commentary's a, on point today. Olympic sport. You're a what? Like it's a Olympic sport. Crouch down. Yes. I thought you said you, you're a big squirt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Leggings. You're a big squirt. You're a good you're sport. A big squirt. You're a good sport. You're a good sport. Ah. Uh... Dashing through the snow. That's what I said when I dashed through the snow, Chase. You said you, you said what you're doing. Yeah. What do you? What else do you say? Drinking water, playing Dark Souls. I can't do both of those at the same time. How's it going? You too. Have a good one. <laughs> you ever get to fight the red dragon? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That was he like he kind of just leaves. You can attack him if you make him jump down onto the bridge. Oh, but like he just left though. Don't do that. Okay. Like, can I? I can't fight him anymore. No, you can heal. Oh no. He'll come back. Oh. Oh, but it's, it doesn't seem like that much of a fight. No. You can cut off his tail though and get the Drake sword. Oh, Drake? Drake? Oh! The Drake sword. Drake! What's your favorite Drake quote? Uh. I love smoking. 
Really? Yeah, that's, that's like a good one. Yeah. My favorite Drake quote is, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Actually, my real favorite Drake quote is, I was born to make mistakes, not fake perfection. Oh. Guys, he was born to mess up. <laughs> he, he's just that hor horrendous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My favorite Drake quote is YOLO. Aww. You That's only good live once. That's what that stands for? <laughs> I'm gonna have to send a lot of uh, apology texts later tonight. <laughs> what did you think it stood for, Chase? I thought it said... Uh, I thought it was... It's so embarrassing. I thought it was like, you know, you, uh, you old loony, el you old loony old. <laughs> yeah, I think that's more insulting than you only live once, Chase. Well, that expl I mean, like, that explains why they didn't react to it negatively. What, or what if they're old, old people and you're just shoving it in their face? Like, <laughs> you only live once. <laughs> you're at the end of your road. No, I mean, it was supposed to be an insult. That's the, that's the problem. Oh. You were really just inspiring them with a Drake quote. Yeah. Like, none of them took it badly. I was so confused. You old... What? You old... <laughs> what old? You old lonely old. <laughs> you know, tell them that they're, they're lonely and old twice for the double old insult. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're so old, they might have forgotten... You know, that, yeah, they're old, when you yeah. called them old the first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Aw, they went down like lovers. <laughs> they are. They were lovers. Are never, ever, That's ever. That's like my the one song I don't like from Taylor Swift is. Well, actually, I, I probably I might be neutral towards a lot of other songs, but I don't like we're never getting back together. Oh, I like that song. I don't like it because of scary memories. What? Yeah. What are those? Well, you know, uh... Oh, elevator. Well, so, what happened was... Okay, so, like, the night... The, the day it came out, it was, like, on the radio. I was probably, like... I don't like age matters, but uh, maybe, like... I don't know, like, fourth grade maybe or something and they came out and it was on the radio and then the night before it came out we're going back in time now uh i had this weird dream where i was like in the back seat of a car and we were driving somewhere and i was like uh i was like smooching somebody on the right next to me on the side of like in the car my dad was like you finally found somebody eh this was, this was like fourth yeah. grade, and I remember like not liking that dream, which actually makes a lot of sense now in hindsight. And then that song come on, came on, and for some reason it, it reminded me of the dream, and now every time I hear that song I think of the dream, and I don't like it. <laughs> You're never going to get back together, Chase. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe it was good. It was a good, it was good, but like, <laughs> I don't know, I just think of it every time, and I didn't like that dream. Chase, that Chase had a Taylor Swift premonition. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, that wasn't the boss. Yeah, no, I didn't. I, I remember being like disturbed, not disturbed, but like it was like it was one of those dreams where like it sticks with you for like the day. Oh, I wish I could have that dream in a negative connotation. We should we should trade trade dreams, Chase. Yeah, we should. You can have the dreams of death and disparity among the ones you love, and I can have the dreams of. Kissing fourth graders in the backseat. <laughs> okay, are you also in fourth grade? You better also be in fourth grade, Dor. Uh, that's up for debate. Knight. Knight Artorius. Um, he's best going. Hat. He's going sickos that, mode. He. uh oh, he's, 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 he's like, cool. Holy crap. 
He's the trainer of the Great Wolf Sith. Huh. Oh, double. Double, double. Toy. Oh, I... One flask. Oh, I can't heal again. Nice. This is everybody's favorite boss fight. Is it? He is really... He, he is cool so far. I missed. Oh, thing. Everybody's favorite boss. Oh, he delayed that attack. Oh, okay. We are never, ever, ever going to the nether. What about that song? Does that song bring back bad memories? Well, I mean, it's, it's basically the same, so yeah. <laughs> You finally found someone, son. But it's, it's, it's just a piglin. <laughs> I know, since it's such an odd dream, I don't know. I don't get it. I've never had anything like <laughs> it since. <laughs> that is a funny dream. Yeah, it is weird. Full, full, fourth grade chase. It's weird that I dreamed that dream. I guess fourth grade chase already knew what was up when he woke up. <laughs> I thought you had a girlfriend in fourth grade, though. That was third grade for like a week. Oh, rest in peace. Yeah. Also, I was in third grade, so like... Chase's love life started and died in third grade. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was all I had, and I decided to never go back. <laughs> he, he, he saw his future in that one year. You know, I was doing it. It, it, it wasn't for him. It's not worth it. He, he was spending racks on that third grade girl. <laughs> Stealing Legos for her. It was too much. Well, I, no, I was... That, that wasn't for her. That was for me. <laughs> I did it for myself, not for, not for others. I liked it. Yeah, I liked I, it. I, I, I was good at it. <laughs> He threw his goop at you. <laughs> no, I got gooped on. Double buff? Uh oh. Do, do I want to try to not let him get buffed? <laughs> that, that is an option. <laughs> oh, he goes through the shield. I don't, I think, I, I just thought he was blowing up. I think he might blow up. I'm not sure. But that is him being buffed. I think you can maybe knock him out of it. Who knows? Oh. Stop him from blowing. Stop him from blowing. Please don't do that. And yeah, maybe if it was Knight Artorius next to me in the car, then it might have been different. <laughs> Chase gets gooped and blown by Knight Artorius <laughs> in the back of the car, and, and Kevin's like, Good job, son. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> All right. So, someone animate that, please. Mm hmm. Put it in tour. the Chase and Tor animated video. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna get age restricted. Yeah. Was Knight, did Knight Artorius exist when you were in four, in fourth grade? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. When was I in fourth grade? Uh, you were born in like 2004, right? So yeah. Five, six, fourth grade, second grade, third grade. I don't know. You're probably in like 2010 or something, right? Probably, yeah. Well, look up when. Uh, no, just look up when Taylor Swift's "We Are Never Getting Back Together" came out. The song is really called We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. That is such a mouthful. <laughs> uh, 2012. Oh, okay, yeah. Knight of was there. Wow. He was real. Wait, was he though? Because this is DLC. In 2012. Oh. New Dark Souls Artorias of the Abyss DLC coming to consoles? <laughs> it doesn't line up with Taylor Swift. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh. It could have been Artorias. Or... 
Could have been the it knight. It should have been me. It should have been him. Not him. Not, I don't know. Not faceless girl. Who who was it? I don't know. Pull out pull out the yearbook and find out. It wasn't anybody I knew. It was an apparition. Yeah, I I, I mean that's the one thing I I remember I knew for sure. I did not. It wasn't anybody I like actually knew. It was just kind of a person. It was like a figure. I'm gonna stand by you, even if you make it up. And you'll find a way to get through. Even if you don't find heaven, I'll walk through hell with you. I remember back in uh, fourth grade, my, a girl sent that to me. I was like, damn, I'm, I'm going to marry this, wo this woman. In fourth grade? Mm-hmm. Oh. Maybe, maybe fifth grade. We had phones in fifth grade. That makes more sense. Yeah. How did you caught up with me? It was when I went to Arizona for the first time, too. Whoa. Because that's when I got my phone. I guess it didn't work out. No. She said she was gonna. She said she was gonna walk through hell for you. She might. <laughs> should, I, should I should I ask her? Should I text her right now? <laughs> like, yo, uh, do, does this still still apply? <laughs> you still gonna walk through hell with me? <laughs> Go to lay Satan. <laughs> That's such a badass story. <laughs> Isn't that just like Doom? Uh, yeah, kind of. The next dark, the next, the next FromSoft game should just be in hell. That would be actually sick. Something about slaying Satan just sounds so like baller. In a Dark Soul, in like the Dark Souls combat too. That actually yeah. seems insane. Oh, Poise. Oh my god. I rolled though. That should have been a good roll. Yeah, I was in. You could see me start the roll. <laughs> Even if you don't find ball sacks, I'll find some for you. Now, why would you do that? Why would you take off a ball sack from an innocent man just for me? Am I worth a man's ball sack? You're worth ten man's ball sacks. Have it be done then. <laughs> yeah, do, do, it, do it then. <laughs> what? Do it. <laughs> Is that worth ten? If I'm worth ten, you will go find ten man's ball sacks. <laughs> Did you know about um David's foreskin collecting? <laughs> who's who's David? Like like the uh, the guy from the Bible. He collected foreskin. We had to collect three hundred foreskins, I think. It's like a, it's like a, like a, like a like a side quest. Well, yeah. Like okay, the, so I the like reason the three hundred foreskins scattered the across the land. The reason he fought the um Goliath or whatever is because. His master, or, or whoever was, you know, competing for God's place with him, uh, basically, his, his master kept sending him on seemingly impossible tasks just so that he would fail. Like, go slay this Goliath, mm -hmm. or go collect 300 foreskins. <laughs> so David legit went and killed 300 like Jews <laughs> and got foreskins. It was crazy. Yeah, that's insane. That's what Wendigoon said, anyways. The IRL fetch quest. We <laughs> like, we need to do that in real life. <laughs> Damn, you didn't win this one. Did you? The fight didn't get to start with David's foreskin collecting. Dang. We can still, it'll still be there. It'll still be there. They heard that it'll, part. It'll be, it'll be Maltex's Bible lesson. They heard that part, yeah. I'm looking it up right now to just a fact check. Fact checking David time with face and core. This is why. Skin. This is why we need the, the the third member of the 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 fact checker third member. Yes. We still need them even to this day, even seventeen. Even seventeen hours later in the playthrough, we still need a fact checker. 
<laughs> what is this title? David and the Foreskins. A tale of inappropriate touching. <laughs> David collecting twice the amount of foreskins. Are all the David stories just David and? David and Goliath? <laughs> <laughs> David and the foreskins? Yes. Sounds like a band. Okay. <laughs> it is. We okay, are David killed, and the he, foreskins. He, him and his men went out and killed 200 Philistines, which is a callback to another episode. Um, in the Dark Souls series, to get 200 foreskins. Oh my gosh! So Saul, so Saul gave his daughter my, Michal to David to be his wife. Oh, Saul? <laughs> what did he? What, how is he carrying them around? Do you think? Like when he handed them to him? Uh, I think he had like a, a little sack. <laughs> the foreskin sack. Like a sack of foreskins. Seems like the, the best way. <laughs> and okay, and the reason he got the foreskins isn't just to be crude. He got the foreskins because the Philistines were the only people who had the foreskins. So that was his way of proving he killed 200 Philistines. Oh, no one else had a foreskin? Because they're all circumcised? No, everyone else got it cut out. Yeah. It was a religious thing. Like those dang Philistines. It's such a baller story. See, okay, so there's David and the foreskin, David and the Goliath, David and... What... Okay, what tasks did David complete? I'm seeing some Dark Souls re references in these... in these articles. <laughs> it just said Covenant. Oh! Coming it with my blood. Do so in remembrance of me. Whenever you eat this bread and drink this drink, proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. What? Yeah, that's the. That's like what you say before you drink the little wine out of the tiny little cup. Oh. Tiny cup wine. The tiny cup? It's not even like a tiny cup anymore. What well, is sometimes, depending on where you go. Now it's a little cracker and a little. Like, <laughs> just an really absurdly small crack. <laughs> I understand why the churches do it, but the cracker is so small, bro. You can't afford big crackers. Like, I've never seen a smaller cracker in my life. Now <laughs> I highly expect you to afford a bigger cracker. Well, that's called communion, isn't it? Yeah. A little communion cracker. What did David do? David do? Whatever, no one's telling me what he did. All I know is foreskins and a big thing. Oh, dang. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. He didn't blow up. Nice. He's so dead. I was about to say that was a really good fight, and I got hit on the last possible time I could have got hit, and that was very embarrassing. Because it, it was so clean. Like, the rest of the fight was really <laughs> clean. And I just... I, I got, Beautiful. I got hit at the end.